Yeah, guys, for three decades now, police have been working this case. Chesterfield detectives say they have tracked the remains 30 years ago. Human remains found in a landfill to a transfer site on School Street in Richmond. Since then, there have been no major leads in the case until now. More than 30 years ago, trash collectors working in the landfill off Lewis Road in Chester found human remains. When I first actually started looking at the case in depth would have been when I was a sergeant um, in criminal investigations back in 2007. Since 1986, Chesterfield detectives and Captain Jay Thornton only knew two identifying features of the Jane Doe. Well, we knew she was a female and we knew she was Caucasian. But last month, a break in the case. It's you know, game changing. Using the latest DNA technology, geneticists have created a prediction or snapshot of the woman. We think about the DNA really in a completely different way than traditional forensics. Dr. Ellen Graytack in Parabon Nano Labs in Northern Virginia developed DNA phenotyping. So what we're doing is taking that same crime scene DNA and looking at it and saying, oh, there are some pieces there that code for brown eyes and not for blue eyes. Great Tech can also predict hair and skin color, face shape, even freckles. These are so tragic. There is a family out there that has been wondering since at least 1986 what happened to their daughter, to their sister. Now with this prediction and photographs of a rubber bracelet found on her left ankle. It's big, it's very big for us. Can you help Captain Thornton solve his cold case? This has certainly been one that's that's been at the top of the list as far as needing a break. And I think that's what we have now that we have a face to put with this. All right, now here's where you help. If you may know who this woman is, you're asked to call the Chesterfield Police Unsolved Major Investigations Unit, their number on your screen, 717-6024. We have more information, much more information about this case on our website, WTVR.com.